Today we're talking about condo insurance claims. I'm Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Today's topic within the condo insurance claim world is about drywall. Now, it's a complex situation when you're dealing with associations with both condos and townhomes. And so what comes into play are the governing laws, bylaws, if you will, all right, and also the Florida Condominium Act. So there's a lot of confusion regarding this, but it, it's muddy, clear water is <laughs> probably the best way to put it because there's so many things that come into play, all right? So let's put up the Florida Condominium Act and really what the association is responsible for. So they're responsible for the following, except this excludes all personal property within the unit or limited common elements. Now this one's very important. And floor, wall, and ceiling coverings. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. Electrical fixtures, appliances, water heaters, water filters, built-in cabinets, car countertops, etc. Right. So um, let's go back. Floor, wall, and ceiling coverings. The association is not responsible for. What does that mean, Mike? What does that mean, coverings? Okay. Floor. There's subflooring, and you have tile floor. You put in your own porcelain tile. The association is not responsible for that. You have drywall, you have paint, wallpaper, tile, maybe you have tile in your bathroom. The association is not responsible for the tile, for the wallpaper, for the paint, or any other covering on that drywall. All right? Same with the ceiling, Venetian plaster, paint, anything else you have in that ceiling, they're not responsible for. But, what they are responsible for, more than likely, is this drywall. Again, not the paint, not tile that you have on the drywall, not wallpaper, not a mural, not anything else. Drywall? Yes. Yes. Unless, unless it is not an insurable event. So drywall, subflooring, ceilings, the association is responsible. Don't let them tell you no because they are. If it's an insurable event, what's an insurable event? Can be a leak, could be a fire, could be from less likely if you live in a condo, but hurricane, all right? Um, Water damage from the second floor unit into your unit, it's covered. The association's responsible for the drywall, for the ceiling, all right? Anything in the subflooring, they're responsible for. But if they're not, if it's not an insurable event, what would be a non-insurable event, Mike? Tell me. Your own negligence, maybe you left water on in the kitchen sink and just let it overfill, and you forgot to turn it off, and you went outside, or you um, left a turkey in the oven and it caught on fire and it burned the whole kitchen down. All right, um, uh, those are non-insurable events, and what the association may also deem as a non-insurable event is if the insurance company denies a claim, but that doesn't mean it's not it a non-insurable event, that just means the insurance company could have made an improper determination. So on non-insurable events, you then have to go through, and I'm going to put this up right now, you have to go through the bylaws because either the association or unit owners may be responsible but it goes by the association's declaration or bylaws. All right. So um, when it comes to an insurable event, I'm going to keep this paper up. 
the association is responsible for everything except all personal property within a unit or limited common elements. Again, floor, wall, ceiling, coverings. The key word here, people, is coverings. Coverings. Now, and then, um, you know, the intentional acts, negligent acts, rules, violations, that, that would be the unit owner's responsibility. So there's a lot of people think gray areas when it comes to this, but there really isn't. There really isn't. And if there, um, if there happens to be a situation where it's an insurable event, and they're telling you no, and that their governing law says, irregardless, you're responsible, the act preempts, a Florida Condominium Act preempts that governing law by the bylaws, okay, and they have to follow the Florida Condominium Act. So hopefully this clears a little bit up, and, and really I'm going to do another video, the next video when it comes to condo, uh, condominium insurance claims about water damage because it gets interesting here. Um, some things people may or may not know. So anyhow, that's a quick little tutorial, quick little educational video on condominium insurance claims pertaining to drywall. Because I know this always comes up. I'm Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Thanks for watching this video.